their own children many G year again. And today, well, we've got another story for you. We're a bit on safari today. That's why Nanny G is wearing this kind of a hat with all this, you know, leopard stuff and everything on. So, and here's Jake. Now, Jake, what's the story about today? Oh, that's right. It's about the magical Wonga Bonga bird, isn't it? Of course, Jake's a bird, but he's not the Wonga Bonga bird, no. Although he is from Wonga Bonga. So it's nice to have you here, Jake. And of course, Jake's my parrot, isn't he? And he's a good parrot, too. Now, Jake, um, I think the good thing for you to do today is perhaps go and put some dots, paint some dots, Jake. Paint some dots on the zebras. I know they've already got stripes, but we want some dots on them as well. So if you go and do that, okay, you go and do that, and, and that would be a good thing for Jake to do, while I, children, can read you a story. And, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. We've got a, oh, he's a monkey. He's come to say hello, hello. He's a lovely, a lovely monkey. Oh, eh, 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 oh, oh, he makes all those sorts of sounds those sort of monkeys do. And, well, that's what they oh, did you hear that, children? That was a lion. Oh, oh, he's, he's away. He's gone. That monkey has now gone. He has left. And um, I think we'll have to scare away that lion, won't we? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get the secret weapon out. Oh. Oh. That ought to scare him away, shouldn't it? No more lions today hanging around here. Well, today we have the story of the secret Wonga Bonga Bird. Isn't he lovely? He's a... I'll keep turning the back later in time. Now look at him there. He's all red and he's blue and he's got a big yellow beak. Well, this is his story and this is all about him. In the secret and friendly Wonga Bonga trees lived a Wonga Bonga Bird. This bird with little tiny knobbly knees. Can't quite see them there, I don't think. They're not very big there. His feet were large, his body was kind of fat, and it is, and his beak was long, he'd sit in a tree and sing a really pleasant, tuneful song, like, ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding Well, this bird was special because he had magical, mystical powers, wow. And he liked to sit in the biggest bonga tree for many long and happy hours. And it's a big, big bonga tree. It's part of the big tree. No one knew where he came from. He just appeared one day. The jungle animals didn't mind. They wanted him to stay. He was quite welcome, you say, because he's a nice bird. The feathers in his body were bright and colourful and grand, unlike some of the other jungle birds whose feathers are kind of bland. That's because they have to fit in with everything around them. So. Well, whoop, there goes one. Looking rather nice hair looking kind of pink today, isn't it? Hmm. Well, on sunny days, he'd fly in the sky and look down on all the creatures, thinking that some needed to have their own individual features. Yes, that's right, they do, true. The zebras all looked like the horses. No one could tell them apart. Till they woke one day with big black stripes. And that was just the start. Well, of course, now they're going to have some dots, aren't they? Because I sent Jake to put dots on them. Other animals born with mixed up eyes of brown and green and yellow and blue, the bonga bird, this bonga bird, made them both the same by sneezing on them. Oh. Rats grumbled that snakes were sneaky and they caught them slyly, but the bonga bird gave snakes forked tongues to show that they were wily. Yes, they did. One spider wanted more eyes to see flies at the back of his head. 
The magic bird gave him ten of them. That's so much better, he said. All these things, the Wonga bird sorted out all the day long. The animals really loved him. He could surely do no wrong. But none of them rather sadly knew how they could sincerely thank this magical bird who was better than them, to be honestly and truly frank. But one day a smart hyena suggested a party we could put on. Oh, I like parties, don't you children? Oh, lots of things at parties. Yes, fruits and nuts would be okay and we could sing a noble song. Well, the animals agreed that this would be absolutely first rate. They discussed it one sunny day and firmly set a date. Finally, the moment, moment arrived when the party was perfectly prepared. The bonga bird flew to the ground and at the feast he stared. Dear bonga bird, we love you so. This selection is for you. Because we appreciate all you do, said the funny looking Gnu. And Gnu's are funny looking, aren't they? Well, here he is. Look. Oh, look. There. Oh, goodness. There was food and nuts piled way up high of every sort and size. Masses of fruit, a mountain, in fact, before each animal's eyes. The king of the beasts then introduced a plain and teensy bird who rose up high and simply sang the sweetest song ever heard. <laughs> to honour the magical Wonka bird who sat with joy and awe, tears running down his bashful cheeks and dripping off his jaw. Yes. He thanked each sociable animal for the wonderful foody spree. At the end of the day, he flew away and perched on his favourite tree, which is a big wonga bonga tree. Yet where he came from, nevertheless, the animals still don't know. Goodwill, he shows, he's valued so, and they hope he'll never go. So if you have a tree outside that looks rather bunga bonga, the birds sitting in it way up high just might be a magical bird from Wonga Bonga. There we go. Yeah, he's a lovely bird, isn't he? Bright and happy and look at all the food they've all left for him. <gasps> My goodness me, what a lucky bird he is. And that's because he's so good and so kind, children. It's exactly right. Oh, it looks like Jake's back again. He's, have you finished painting painting the zebras, giving them dots, Jake? He has? Oh, did you have fun? He had fun, children. Well, it looks like that's all from us, all from Nanny Chi. Um, and because we've been on safari, it'll be nice to get out of the heat and it's enough to make your hair turn pink, hearing a lion roar. So until we hear from you again and we'll see you again, it's goodbye from Jake. Ah! That's right. And it's goodbye from Nanny G. Bye-bye.